七十岁的台湾男篮队总教练帕克，生涯教练资历丰富，也担任过 NBA 独行侠队助理教练长达十年。但他的篮球之路却因为生长在种族歧视的年代，开始走得并不顺利。Basketball career goes obviously a long way. I've been playing basketball since I was probably six, seven years old. I was kind of an all-around athlete. Uh, in high school, I played football, American football, basketball, and I was really good in track. Also,、uh, got a scholarship to、uh, school in Ohio,、uh, Bowling Green State University, to run track and play basketball.、Uh, at the time that I played, freshmen were not allowed to play、uh, varsity basketball, so I played on the junior varsity team. Was a very good player. Uh, was an outstanding all-state、uh, track runner,、uh, ran the hurdles. Then I transferred schools to a school called University of Finley. It's a NAI school that's、uh, located in the middle of Ohio. At the time, Eddie, my journey started because of during the era of discrimination towards、uh, black kids and, and 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 blacks in general. So I was very limited. Unfortunately, in college、uh, selections and what schools I would go to, it was a very rough time when I was growing up, where、uh, we were not treated equal. We were treated as second-class citizens. You know, we couldn't certain hotels. I couldn't go to stay in. I couldn't drink from certain water fountains. If I went to the movies, I had to sit in this, only a certain section of town of the movie theater. Just a lot of things that's going on in my life, and it was a very tough time personally. Through that, I was able to fight through that prejudice and choose a school that was very liberal and allowed blacks and black basketball players to attend. Felt I was a Division One player when I was was playing in high school, but the choice that I I made was not based on my ability. Schools that I really wanted to go to, they would even literally say, "You only allow one black kid to be recruited at that school per year, and only one maybe be allowed on the court at one time." So it was very, very discouraging. But again, I was able to kind of fight through that, and、uh, with the help of my family and my friends, and and was able to go ahead and and, and play college basketball at at University of Finley. Uh, had a very successful career, making、uh, All-American.、Uh, I was very fortunate that I was able to be All-American in basketball and in track. But I started to be a、uh, a coach right after my playing career. I played about a half a year in the, what they call the Continental Basketball League, which is equivalent to the G League now. I played a half a season with the Fort Wayne. Team, Fort Wayne Hoosiers. So it was professional basketball,、um, but at the same time I was starting my family, and I uh, was uh, continuing my education. I was going towards my master's degree. So I was split, and I was working. I was I was a head track coach, head cross country coach, and head、uh, assistant basketball coach, teaching classes, going to class. Uh, to get my master's degree, starting my family, and traveling, I don't know, two hours a day to go play semi-pro basketball. So it was very, very, very demanding, very challenging.、Uh, I think I started my habit then of not sleeping. I slept maybe three hours, four hours maximum a day. Of、uh, course, I had so many things that I was doing at the time. Then I started my coaching career. At University of Finley, I was a system basketball head track, head cross country. From there, I went to Bowling Green State University as assistant coach. Finley for six years, Bowling Green for six years. Then I was fortunate enough to get the head job at Wayne State University、uh, in Detroit.、Uh, I was there for six years. I always these six-year increments. Dallas for ten years as assistant. Now, if you know NBA coaching and 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 things, that ten years at one location, one team in the NBA is like a lifetime. The average NBA coach only lasts three years in one job. And at the time, I had the second longest tenure of any coach in one team. The only ones that was more was Jerry Sloan and the guys at Utah. Because Jerry was there for twenty some years, and all his guys kind of stayed with him. 
，帕克先来台湾担任篮协 A 级教练讲师，之后接下2017年是大运男篮总教练，带领球队拿下队史最佳的十三名成绩。接着又在去年亚运带领球队拿下第四名，也是队史在亚运四十八年来最好。下个目标将是明年亚洲杯资格赛。帕克认为，找到下一个规划洋将是当务之急。I think we need a big guy, guy that can play four or five, and、uh, mainly that can defend other bigs. Because one thing, as you know, we're a shorter team, and we need big defenders. Quincy was a good import. He was a great. He was a great import. That we want a guy that that loves the country, that loves the environment. That really wants to be here, and very talented. He's a good player, defensively, offensively. He's, he was a great player here, and a great import. Before we have a new import, you are the best import. <laughs> This is why I'm telling well, you. Thank you. you know, thank you. You are the best import. What do you think about it? <laughs> no, not, who me? Yeah. No, no. Coach the team well, you know. Yeah, no, well, you no, no. No, I just—it's the players. It's all about the players. I just—I don't know. It's just the face in the crowd, I guess.